What's up guys, it's Lightsparrow here, and I'm going to be doing some more RTA. This is pretty much where I finished off the last video. I don't think I did any swords since the last video. Yeah, so I'm at 76 still. Still at the same rank. I'm pushing up as high as I've ever been right now. So odds of me winning three in a row again, like I did in the last video, is pretty slim. But you never know. I have some pretty good units. Like, my units are good enough to be higher than F3. I just don't have the runes, really, to be higher than F3. So we'll have to see about that. But um, yeah, first pick, I normally if I get two picks, I like to do double immunity. And if I get first pick, I'll do a Sierra, just because I feel like that's kind of good synergy, I guess. But this guy is going with Chloe Tiana. So at the moment, plan is ban Chloe. And let's bring... Sierra, eh, maybe not. Maybe Monkey and Yan Hong. Because Yan Hong counters Molong super good because she pretty much makes Reckless Assault do nothing. It's a 20% Reckless Assault because Molong will do 70%, but then Yan Hong heals 50%. And he picked the Sierra from me. Kind of a bummer, but I didn't want to pick Sierra because he has Chloe. So I'm aware that, you know, Sierra doesn't really work against immunity. So he's going to pick Sierra, it looks like that is a bummer, and Camila. So right now the plan, mm, plan would have to be ban Tiana, and then I have immunity the whole game, and Theo, if I can find my Theo. Okay, so if, let's think. Yeah. He's probably going to ban one of my immunities. Yes, he does. Okay, but I still have a pretty constant source of immunity. Now I can go crit rate or defense. I think I honestly want the crit rate lead because I don't have a ton of crit rate on any of these guys, but all four of these guys can do a little bit of damage if they need to. First target is Sierra. Once Sierra is gone, um, I could do Molong or... Honestly, I should do Molong because Molong can strip still, so... I was going to say Molong or Camila, but definitely Molong because he can strip. So, she's going to do that. Not a huge problem. I'm going to... Ooh, okay. Bad news right there. Yan Hong is going to have to heal. I would have ideally liked to be able to strip the Sierra, but I definitely have to heal here. And Well, I'm going to get another turn, right? That's uh, part of <laughs> part of using... Um, that was, I should have tried to stun Molong, because what I did there is just absolutely pointless. But she's probably going to bomb Theo. And nice, nice Sierra. And l unluckily, he got the stun on Velajul, which is really annoying, because now he is going to get the bomb off. Because, yeah. Okay, that's a bummer. She's going to pop Endure, maybe? Or she doesn't really need to, because the dot will probably pop Endure. Yeah, okay. So, there goes Endure, and... Okay, so Theo's still safe, because Molong's going to move before him. So what's going to happen here? Okay, let's get the defense break, and maybe a Violent... Oh, and I have Vampire, I can't Violent. So, Velajul's going to get a turn. Ah, uh, Theo Violented. That is not ideal, because I could have cleansed... Could have cleansed that dot. <clears throat> this is not going to kill, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't think so. 14k, though, that's pretty good. It would have killed a squishy Sierra. And let's give the turn to the monkey. I don't really need the heal, but the turn... Uh, honestly, I didn't really need to do the turn because uh, I think the monkey would have got the next turn anyways. But let's kill Molong because he can strip my immunity. And that's bad news because then I can get defense broken. And obviously, defense break is not good. <laughs> so... Yeah, get to work on Molong, and he doesn't have a lot of heals. The only heal he has is from Chloe, so he's got one Reckless Assault left in him, and Velajul is not looking too healthy right now. Um, does he have Reckless Assault up right now? No, thank God he didn't, because uh, that would have been a dead Velajul if he did. Okay, so let's get a heal up on Velajul. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get... Oh, no. There it is. Okay, so there's Velajul gone. That's a bummer, but at least he lost a little bit of HP. Defense Velajul, so he didn't really lose all that much HP, actually. And hopefully I can land a defense break on him right here, because then I can use my second skill on Yan Hong, and dang it. 
Okay, I can use second skill on Yanhong now. That's good. <laughs> good that he got a turn. Nice. So that's a kill. Next move is obviously kill Cammy because Chloe is no problem at all. Um, I do have to kill Cammy before Yanhong dies. This is whoever dies first, Cammy or Yanhong is that that guy's gonna win. So, but this is still I still have a chance to win this. I just have to kill Cammy before he kills Yanhong. And my Yan Hong does a decent amount of damage, but Kami is going to also do a decent amount of damage, and especially as these multipliers go up, this is going to get close. I need a defense break without, without a crit, though, is the problem. <laughs> I need to get that without critting, and that's kind of rough. Okay, so I need to use this on myself, honestly. I know I waste, it wastes attack bar and it wastes potential heals, but I actually do... I do need that on myself because otherwise it's no bueno. Dang, I think I'm going to lose this. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the Kami. Dang. And it does a pretty good amount of damage. It does like a quarter HP every turn. So if I can get a violent from you. My Yan Hong, I don't think, has gotten a single violent this whole game. I think my only violent from the whole game. And note, I have violent on Velajul, Yan Hong, and Theo. My only violent was that Theo when it killed himself with the dot. I believe that was my only violent for the game. So that's a dead Yan Hong. And it's probably a dead me, honestly. Uh, let's just see. If, oh, okay. Chloe's squishy. So definitely Chloe's the move right now. And I got 10 stacks. So he's going to be doing damage. I don't remember how I got the stacks. It must have been from all those reckless assaults. No, because he targeted my monkey at the beginning, right? Okay. So I have 10 stacks on monkey. So Chloe's going to be dead. Honestly, I'm... Now I'm wishing I would have tried to kill the Chloe before um, before my Yan Hong died. Because May maybe that would have made a difference. Cause, but Cammy still probably could have 2v1'd me. But there's a chance she wouldn't have. Can I crit? Nice. I need the crits because I have Vampire. So it actually... Oh, stun and no crit. That's sick. Could I get another? Oh, no. It's glancing. So this is probably Dead Monkey now. And additional turn. So now it's Dead Monkey. Well, that was pretty close. Um... Yeah, the Kami got me good there, and I lost 15, what, did I lose 15 swords? Or 14 swords? It's gonna happen, I guess. But so, anyways, like I said, I wasn't expecting to win all three of these, but it would be nice if I could maybe pick up two wins now. Two wins out of three would be good. Let's see what he's gonna pick. Ganny, of course, so double immunity. That's a pretty solid first pick, honestly. Pretty solid first two picks is the double immunity right there. And he's going to bring Tiana Perna. So plan of, for now, ban Tiana. And now I can go Monkey and Tessarian for Perna. No, not Bulldozer. Definitely not Bulldozer. Tessarian. And last pick, we'll see. I could bring Bastet. Let's see, let's see what he brings. If he has no immunity, I actually want Bastet. Praha. And last pick, Camila. So... Yeah, let's bring Bastet, and he's pro is he going to ban Tessarian? Let's ban Praha on his team. Or honestly, I could ban Perna, and he wouldn't have too much damage. But I have Tessarian, which he, he could very well ban, honestly. But let's ban Praha. Is he, yeah, he's going to ban Tessarian, so I should have banned Perna. Um, you live and you learn. But, okay, so plan here. Let's kill the Tiana, because she's going to be squishy. And once Tiana's dead, I've got permanent immunity more than permanent immunity. I've got six turns of immunity reusable every four turns, so I got more than enough immunity. And his only strip is once Tiana's dead is Ganny's first skill, so it shouldn't be too big of a threat. But I do have to kill Ganny, so he's going to reset probably Wusa right here. Velajul, okay. Makes sense, honestly, because Velajul has a better second skill, so... It makes sense. Although, the reason Wusa would have been... Oh, dang it. This is bad news. Um, shield, or do I want to go for the attack break on Perna? I'm going to go for the shield, because um, it also gives me attack bar, so I'll get turns quicker. Okay, so Monkey's probably not going to die here. No, definitely not. Okay. Violent, though, that's so annoying. So annoying, because I don't have a... What's it called? Um... Hey, let's do this. I don't have a healer. I have that little tiny heal from... And then he strips the attack buff too. God. That's so annoying. Okay, let's see what this does. Wow. 
I have a max skilled Bastet. All three of her skills are maxed, and that's what I get. Jesus Christ. Okay, so net target's got to be Gany now, though. So, nice one shot. Um, oh, Veligil's skills are reset. I should have done the immunity a long time ago. I, I was thinking Veligil had his skills. And I think, because he was thinking he could cleanse the defense break, but Vel or Veligil got reset. Attack break that Perna. Nice, Bastet. Even though that Curse of the Beautiful is absolutely awful. Okay, eight stacks on the monkey. I don't know if monkey is the best move for this guy to keep going for. But he's going to do it. And dead Tiana right here. Yes. Maybe I can sleep this Perna. And I can. Perfect. Perfect. And my monkey is vampire too. Yeah, okay. That's going to say. I, th this was looking like a win because I have vampire monkey. So I can actually even heal up that monkey. And it was looking pretty good in my hat. Or for me. So 1351. New record for most swords. Not complaining about that. And this guy. I actually don't know what flag that is. Um, I learn a lot of new flags in this game. I shouldn't say learn, I see a, a lot of new ones. I don't learn what they are, I just see them. So, <laughs> that's how that works. Okay, Chiwu, Virad. So, plan for now is I gotta ban the Chiwu. So, let's bring Sierra and Yan Hong to counter the Molong. And if he has no immunity, I'll bring. I would say Bastet, but I need another damage dealer. So, we'll, we'll see what he brings before I pick what I want. Leo could be an option. Theo could be an option. Um, let's think. I don't really think Leo is a good option, so let's not bring Leo. Um, honestly, well, how much HP does my Susano have? That is a bad Susano, okay. Um, it's a little better. Uh, yeah, let's bring this guy. And we'll ban... Chiwu, and the first target we want to kill is Chilling. And is he going to ban an immunity? Ban Sierra. Okay, that's a good pick for him, honestly. Good pick to ban Sierra. And crit rate lead, yeah. Because all my guys can actually do a little significant damage um, if they if it comes down to it and they need to. Not enough da If Theo dies, I'm not going to be able to kill Cammy though. So Theo needs to stay alive bef until I can kill Cammy. I mean, that's going to be good. Um, every guy I've played has used Kami. I just thought about that. Every match I've played has been against a Kami. Cam I don't think Kami is an incredible monster in RTA, but if they ban my Sierra, I really don't have anything to kill Kami with. So that is a thing. Okay, so he's going to go for Velajul first. I guess that's fine. Um, I'm going for Chilling first. Chilling is going to be the annoying one here. So Theo, can you violent like you did last time? No, but Veligil did, and that's nice because I can get my immunity back. Um, did Virat already use zero? He might have. Okay, so I need to keep Veligil topped off so that he doesn't get sniped by this Molong right here. So dead chilling now, I'm thinking. Oh, my Theo only does 9k. Jesus Christ, that's bad. 9k with a defense break. Okay, this is not looking good for Veligil. Is that 70? He's going to try it. Oh, he's, okay, now he's going to try it. Really? He's not going to try and see if that's 70. That looked like 70 to me. Um, no, what did... Okay, thank God for that violent... <laughs> I was going to say, I needed to heal Veligil right there. God. Okay, that could have been really bad. So next kill... I actually thought I definitely could have lost that game. I was going to go for Molong next, but... I thought I was I was still in the potential to lose that game, cause of <laughs> you know all he had to do is kill Theo and then I couldn't his cami could have soloed me from there pretty much. But that's gonna be all I have for this video, guys. Three fights, I got two wins and a loss, which is pretty good considering this is the highest I've ever been. Um, win rate just above fifty percent right now in F three. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today, though, guys. So may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows.